Hey, how are you? I'm okay. Or actually, I feel pretty good. It's just that the circumstances are a little bit subpar. I'm not complaining, but I feel like I'm finally starting to wrap my head around the fact that I have a brain tumor. Did you get that? Still got it. But this is about something completely different because a couple of weeks ago, I got to give a TED talk, like the real big TED. And it was hard and fun, which also sounds like a dating profile. <laughs> but one of the things I learned is that I suck at vlogging because I try to vlog it. And looking through the footage, I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. And I was there for it. This is me clapping. So Ted contacted me almost a year ago asking if I wanted to give a talk and as soon as I said yes, they scheduled rehearsals and brainstorming sessions, they started sending me literature that I should read, but even though they did all of that, I still managed to procrastinate writing the talk up until about two weeks before I was going to go there. It was just that every time I would think about it, it would be the same feeling as like when you're walking down a staircase and you think you've gotten all the way down, but then there's like an extra unanticipated step. So you have like the <gasps> So instead of writing the talk, the first thing I did was make myself a shirt that I was gonna wear on stage. The thing is I'm very productive when I procrastinate, just in areas that are completely irrelevant. Maybe you're procrastinating something by watching me procrastinate. There's a lot of layers. Mm. Anyway, here's uh, me making a shirt. Yay! It's like a little yay, but from your hand. <laughs> I can't do it with my other hand. Oh man, you are such a talent, Scott. Ambidextrous snap. Today, I'm making a shirt out of googly eyes. I know, usually I'm so subtle in my fashion choices. <laughs> So I'm thinking I'm gonna laser cut these back plates out of acrylic and then have these like stick on googly eyes and then just like make almost like chain mail. It's like an armor of fun. Also the slogan is all eyes on me. <laughs> Telling you people like googly eyes. I like googly eyes. I bought a thousand googly eyes. <laughs> have I said googly eyes enough? I get insecure. Is it google eyes or googly eyes? Okay, are you ready for this? This is my good move. So I made a few different things. These are the ones that are gonna make up the bulk of the shirt. They're just like the regular four corner ones. These ones, so those are kind of what make the edge. And this is the biggest pain of this project, I think, taking off the protective coating off of everything. It takes a long time and it kind of kills your fingernails. Let's get our hands in pain. Back to current time. Yeah, here's the shirt. Clasps in the back. It also makes the best noise, but that's terrible for audio. <laughs> Sorry, someone was editing this. I don't know what you're talking about. So all of this was obviously before I found out that I had a tumor that might make me go blind. Having a shirt made out of 217 plastic eyeballs feels a little bit wrong now, but also like weirdly right. It's kind of like the brain emoji. It's like very appropriate yet very inappropriate. Anyway, back to the TED talk. <laughs> We're flying to Vancouver today. I've been nervous a fair amount of times in my life, but I think this is the worst I've ever had. Also, I only slept eight hours tonight and it's really, I can really feel it. Little known fact, I usually sleep like 10 hours a night. Who's that? It's my mom! And it's also coming to Vancouver for motherly support. Are you nervous? Okay, let's eat the food and pack up. Marcos built this like ginormous wood crate so we could uh, ship the head orbit. I'm bringing the toothbrush helmet. You just go in there. I think they're not gonna let us on the airplane with this. We've like checked the maximum weight you can pay yourself out of. 100 pounds. Can you see the scale number? It's like 40 kilos? What's that in pounds? Alexa, what's 40 kilograms in pounds? 88.19. Great. That's great. How are we getting this in a car? Yes. 
Welsh. And you, sir. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're in Vancouver, in the building where Ted is. I just had a, a rehearsal in one of uh, these rehearsal rooms. Here's the actual red dot, the Ted dot. I hope I can get my talk laying down, so if I pass out, nobody's gonna notice. If we put it in slow-mo, it's gonna look like I stood for a really long time. I think it's like an hour left now. I got hair and makeup. Adam's here, which is really nice. I'm feeling good. I'm so excited for it to be over with. Yeah, that's about it. Also just been like going through all the machines. They seem to be working all right. The session's starting soon and it's like seven sessions within one. I'm right in the middle. Welcome, Simone Dietz. Ooh, hello. My name is Simone. So yeah, that was uh, my TED talk. I just went up on stage and only said my name and it was really just powerful. <laughs> Go watch the full talk on TED.com. There's of course a link in the description. And just to clarify, I said more things than just my name. I also said the names of other people. <laughs> also, your sentimental grandma Simone speaking, but giving a TED talk is like one of the high points in my working life. And I'm just so grateful that I got to do that before I found out about the brain tumor because I'm not sure I'd been able to do it if I'd known that I was sick. And like, I got my life's first standing ovation and also I got to see like Adam and mom in the audience. And I don't know, it was just very, very special for me. For me? It was specially made for me. <laughs> the whole thing was for me, no. But it was very special, what do you say? It meant a lot. It was a precious memory that I'm gonna store somewhere in my head that they'd probably keep intact. Too bizarre? Also, thank you so much for all of your sweet comments and messages and Patreon pledges. I've like been opening packages crying, like happy tears, because you're really the freaking best. I don't know what I've done to deserve all of you. So this is the last video before I go into surgery. May 30th, put it in your calendars and send me some scientific prayers. <laughs> I'm scared, but there's also a small part of me that's kind of excited. It's a very similar mix of emotions as I had leading up to my TED talk, actually. I don't think I'm gonna get a goodie bag at the hospital though, but I'll probably get some pretty great pain meds, so <laughs> that's something. I'll see you on Instagram and Patreon and Twitter uh, and go watch the TED talk. It's short. That's like the main selling point I have. <laughs> okay, bye.